as a library board member, you need to be intimately and actively involved in your community and you have to have a desire to do that. It has to be more than just going to meetings. Uh, I would think that um, you would want to get to know your library, get to know the uh, government that you're going to be under because if you know them, then they're going to be more willing to help you uh, expand the library. Someone who works well with others. <laughs> um, someone who uh, is open-minded. Well, first of all, I think you need to be a good listener. And you need to be able to understand what the constituents need and the challenges of the library itself and be able to bridge that. And that also in involves understanding the government objectives or the sponsoring entities that you're working with. They come to library board meetings. They understand what issues are facing the library. They can talk conversantly with the public in a way that helps the public understand what the issues are. To be a good board member, obviously, you have to want to put the time in. I've been on the board at various times when we had a board member who didn't have the time and uh, missed a lot of meetings and that didn't work out very well. You have to have a passion for, the, for, for libraries and see their role in the community and how that could be better and be willing to be involved in, and be active. The most important characteristic for a board member is to be humble. Not assume just because you may be a great advocate of libraries or a person that's used libraries regularly that you can understand the complexities of running a modern library. They've changed dramatically since we were kids and they will continue to change dramatically because of technology and new opportunities that are presented through the library structure.